Hi, I'm Chris Wise with Wise About Flower Mount, and I am here with Ashley Guthrie, and we are with your Daily Glam. And so I am so excited. She has got some stuff here that we're going to be looking at. And then you also, what's so neat is you make this stuff. I do. You're I not do. buying stuff from China and then putting it into a little thing. Correct. Okay, so tell me about that. Well, first correct. of all, how'd you ever do this? What happened? So my guide to, or my road to becoming a business owner um, began when I became an artist. So okay. I started painting, nothing ah, like this. Yeah. This is beautiful. I do abstract art. Um, and as I was painting and working with, uh, it's called fluid acrylic, um, I started to find another form of art that I liked, which is working with resin. Ooh. So in the craft community, resin is very popular right now. People really? are making coasters and trays. Oh. Um, you can make all sort of tables. You'll see those beautiful, they're called epoxy river tables, oh, wow. where it's transparent. It almost looks like oh. glass. Oh my gosh. Um, and so I was kind of drawn to it and I was like, I really want to start working with this material. Mm -hmm. I want to see what it's about. And I realized I could do um, earrings from it and I could make a lot of earrings at one time. Oh my gosh. And this was right around the time that I opened up a booth at Painted Tree. Oh, um, okay. So I had my art, which I was doing just for fun, but then I would sell whenever I could. And then I started to make jewelry and then purchase clothing to resell. And the earrings and the clothing just kind of came together. And then like daily glam was born. born. Oh <laughs> my God. Um, and so now I have, you know, I have an online presence. I sell mm -hmm. on Etsy, mm -hmm. you know, I do a lot through social media. Um, I put all of my earrings in my shop at Painted Tree. Mm -hmm. um, so I have the opportunity to do the in-person stuff, which is great, like in a right. retail setting, mm -hmm. but then also through events and then, of course, online through mm -hmm. Etsy. So. so you set up booths at different things, uh -huh. too. I do Although we haven't events. had those in a while. but yeah. yeah, They are starting to come back. Oh, that's um, great. I've done some at apartment communities, which mm. have been really great oh, in neat. Dallas. Um, you know, some of the outdoor ones, which isn't as convenient mm -hmm. um, but the farmers market has a new event called made and they only focus oh on made handmaids <laughs> called made so cool and yeah it's m-a-d-e all yes. caps it stands for something i don't know what it stands for um and they support local craftsmen craftswomen mm -hmm. who only do handmade things so it's not your oh. typical food vendors and stuff right. it's really like artisans um mm -hmm. who get to you know present their stuff and sell oh my gosh yeah so it's been so much fun and I've met oh, so many people that's doing so it. wild yeah mm -hmm. so I'm intrigued with resin mm hmm so it's some people call it epoxy resin some people right. just call it resin um, you know it's very similar I always kind of tell people it's like acrylic or plastic mm -hmm. but ten times more durable you could drop it it's not gonna break you could really? sit, sit there and bang it on the table it's not gonna crack so it's um, something longevity wise I like because I know I can make something and I don't have to worry about somebody coming back to me and being like, hey, it this broke. this thing fell apart. Um, so there's really two different ways to go about making mm -hmm. it. I either use a frame or use a mold. Mm, so like, okay. Yeah, these, I was noticing the difference. Yeah, so like this is a frame, mm -hmm. this is a mold. So of course the frame, you know, it's metal yeah. and it's, it comes empty. It reminds me of stained glass. I do actually have a pair. That's funny you said that. I have a pair um, of earrings. I name all of my earrings. This one's called Emma, and it's a stained glass oh look. Oh, my gosh. And I do see-through all different colors. Oh, wow. And so this one, I just buy this metal piece, and it's just mm -hmm. like a opening, right? Mm -hmm. So there's nothing in it. Yeah. And you place it kind of flat, and then I pour resin as liquid, mm -hmm. you know, and then you pour it in here. This particular one, I did some glitter colors for 4th of July. So I did the red, white, and silver. So mm -hmm. I added that to the resin. You let it sit for about 24 hours. It'll fully cure mm. and then it's ready the next day. Oh my gosh. So it's like, it's literally like waking up to Christmas morning oh my gosh. Uh, after I make stuff. Wow, wow. <laughs> Cause I'm waiting for it to dry and I'm like, oh yay, it's Yeah, ready. don't touch it. <laughs> and so that's a frame. This is from and a that, mold. Yeah. And so um, silicone, you know, is like everybody's used silicone for mm -hmm. something, whether it's baking or just mm -hmm. different types of crafts things. Yeah. And so it'll be in a different shape, whatever shape I want my earring mm -hmm. to look like. And so I pour the uh, resin into the silicone mold, same mm -hmm. way. It's, you know, it's like this. And then once it dries, it just pops right out. 
And are you drilling those tiny holes or are they? I have a teensy tiny little hand drill. So yes, on some of them I do. Some of them, it's really nice because the mold will have a little, little thing that like comes a up. Like or something. Exactly. That, and so oh it'll have gosh. a hole and then I have to assemble them. So it is a little bit tedious and time consuming, um, but I'm also creating something that nobody else has made. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's not Exciting. something that I've purchased wholesale. And like, then you're reselling I'm, it. Exactly. I'm doing it from start to finish. Wow. Um, and I try and keep my prices reasonable too. I'm not charging 30 bucks for a pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. I'm charging 15 to $20 mm -hmm. for a pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. You know, so I try and keep it within so reason. are you doing this in your house in your garage a, I, a whole dedicated room that you write off for business expense or where very good question <laughs> all of those things because as you Love can it. write off i can write off my apartment <laughs> because it's my office mm -hmm. um so i assemble in my apartment because that's the non-messy part so mm -hmm. if i'm doing you know kind of like the hardware phase as i like to call it after it comes out of the mold i have to put all my little metal pieces and stuff on there but the resin pouring process, because it's messy, resin is also toxic. You don't want it to get on your floor, your mm. countertop. It is not coming off if it gets oh, no. on anything in your home. Okay. Um, so I have a storage unit where I live. I've converted it into a studio. Mm. And it's a mess, but I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. And so I just kind of do my thing there and don't have to worry about it. And my cat doesn't she doesn't go in there walk through <laughs> oh my gosh i can just imagine okay these are the cat paw prints there are cat people out there that would the buy cat the cat <laughs> that happened one time i did a painting in my apartment oh, no. i will never do it again and she, it wasn't dry and she pounced mm -hmm. on it and she quickly realized she was on a yes. painting yes ran, ran off yes with paint blue paw prints all oh. through the apartment i'm just Oh my God, I'm not getting my deposit back. Yeah, so, and you don't want to get a pair of earrings and be like, there's cat hair in these earrings. <laughs> so to answer your question, separate space, which hopefully I can expand and have a bear place at some yeah. point, but it works. Well, that's so you know. cool. Yeah. And I'm sure you could open it up because I bet it's caustic as far as, does uh, it smell, I would well, assume? Yes, it smells and you also have to heat it. You have to torch it. And so oh when you mix it, because it comes in. Do people think you're cooking mess? Uh, <laughs> I'm just wondering what your neighbors are like. I don't There's know. There's Ashley out there and she's got that blowtorch going again. I, and yeah, I like, something. and it's funny <laughs> what is going on. So you do, it gets little air bubbles trapped in there. Okay, you and then have you got to like parts. tap them out or something. It's called, you know, it's called part A, part B mm -hmm, resin. Of the epoxy. So yeah. You have the hardener, it's one-to-one, mm -hmm. -one. it's got to mm -hmm. be exact when you mix it. Mm -hmm. So when you're mixing it, teensy tiny little air bubbles get in there. So after I pour, the air bubbles will kind of come up to the top, mm -hmm. and then you get your torch and you just kind of, you know. Because it's going to heat the air and pop it. Exactly, and then it gets still. it, otherwise you're going to okay. get a bunch of bubbles mm -hmm. in it. Just and if that's not it. what you're looking for, then. Yeah, and yeah. those people aren't, unless you want to look like an aquarium. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I, I like a nice glassy mm -hmm. finish, and that's the only way to do that is with a torch. So it will generate some fumes. I wear a mask when I work with it, unless mm -hmm. I'm doing a video and I need to be talking or something. Yeah. But yeah, I do I do keep a mask on all the oh time. Oh my gosh. And gloves and all that. So all what's that like stuff. the biggest thing that you've poured? Um, the biggest thing I've poured, I've done tables. So I have done side tables oh um, where I'll get a big you know, piece of wood. I've done a 36 inch or a three foot yeah. coffee table. Oh my gosh. Um, I've done paintings where I'll put clear resin on the top, maybe like a four foot by four foot. Um, but that's just, you know, kind of a nice mm. thin layer. I mm -hmm. usually don't pour anything big that's just solid resin. Mm -hmm. Like a coaster is probably the biggest that I would go, which mm. is gonna be, you know, I have a little uh, faux geode mold, mm -hmm. so it looks like a, a yeah. gate, yes. and a gate yes. where it's to slice, yeah. you know? So I have a shape that looks like that and I'll pour into it and it comes out probably to be like six to eight inches. Mm -hmm. But you'd be surprised how much material it takes to mm -hmm. just make that. Oh my but gosh. these guys that are making tables, they have buckets. Oh my God. Buckets full. And they have a big old drill that goes and mixes and it. And mixes. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Yeah. So hopefully one day I'll be able to do process videos. It's just me doing it right now. So I need somebody to like film process videos for me. Right. So. 
there's anybody watching yes, this. Yes, seriously. You want to do process videos for me? There you go. <laughs> and, and truly, when you're trying to do videos, mm -hmm. as I know, mm -hmm. you need, it's not just taking the video, it's the editing. It's, yes. you know, all of that stuff. Same with you photography. Gotta, all of that. Yep. Same with photography. Yep. So I'm kind of at the point in my business, I'm really starting to kind of hire out. I'm hiring a marketing company, mm. looking for a photography company who can take professional pictures. Mm -hmm. Because um, I sell wholesale as well. So Ooh. I sell to other retailers Ooh. who want wow. something. So I basically do custom wholesale. Wow. Um, and I started partnering with a girl that I met at Painted Tree. She collects little antique buttons from Ooh. all around the world. Oh, wow. And from Paris, from uh, oh, Portugal, neat. from Italy. Oh, my and gosh. And she asked me to turn them into earrings for her. Oh, and my so I was gosh. like, yeah, it's like, why not? Let's that is great. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot wow. of Wow. <laughs> and so how long have you been doing this? Um, I started, I haven't even been doing this a full year. I started this Oh my in like gosh. This was October? your COVID thing? <laughs> <laughs> this is a COVID business. COVID. This is a COVID business. And you're already business. at Painted Tree. Yep. Already at Painted Tree online. Mm -hmm. Wow. And doing wholesale. So kind of a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's it's my baby. <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, it's just amazing. It just in that short period of time, mm -hmm. you have a booth, you have a host. I mean, and you have plans to expand. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, which primarily I want to expand online because I like the idea of not having the overhead of having a booth and then mm -hmm. doing events and stuff, you know, because it's just one of me. Right. So if I can, you know, later down the road have people working for me that can go do events and go out mm -hmm. and, you know, sell my jewelry for me, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully I can get to that point. Yeah. Someday where it's not just me doing everything, everything from start to finish. So. Yeah. But that's how that all is, small businesses are yeah. when they first you start. You start, you know, my, my first desk was in my laundry room. Yeah. <laughs> I was selling mm -hmm. houses from my laundry room. <laughs> you know, and then I moved Here to, you are. Yeah. And then I moved, I think, to a bedroom upstairs. And then, you know, I've been like all around um, our house. <laughs> <laughs> That's place right. The next. It's like one, oh, one room, I, then this is I don't is like bigger. the view anymore. I'm going to move around. <laughs> so, yes, but in the laundry room is where I started. Yes. <laughs> love it. I love it. And me and my storage unit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. But I still am intrigued to think that your neighbors are just wondering what you're cooking down there. You know, Ashley, what I, the heck are you doing? <laughs> I get questions because they come out of there with a mask and gloves yes. on. <laughs> Because I wear I saw that episode. Gloves. And then they're just like, what is what this you? girl doing? Like, yeah. she's not, I don't really see paintings coming in and out mm -hmm. of there, but she's got gloves. That, like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going mm -hmm. on. So I do get questions about it, but I like it because that's an opportunity for me to talk about exactly. my business and what I'm making. Exactly. Um, and I've done an event in the building where I live, oh. and it's been awesome because oh, all yeah. the residents there, they're like, I didn't know you made I all know this. It's here. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, that's what you're doing in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. so do you have a lot of inventory? Oh yeah. I mean, so yes. okay. So mm -hmm. I mean as far as mm -hmm. somebody ordering something online, mm -hmm. it's not like they have to wait six weeks for No, they don't have to wait that long. I would say maybe like, you know, seven to ten days. Um, mm -hmm. obviously everybody knows shipping's a little bit slow right now. So yeah. but as far as getting the piece made, you know, if I'm not completely slammed, like you know, two to three days, sometimes mm -hmm. up to three to four days, but I, it'll never take me more than a week to okay. get something to somebody. Okay. So, yeah. How exciting. So, and hopefully I can keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, then expanding, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. moving on and, to the next thing. Well, and finding somebody else that can do this because it's a very specific thing. These are designs that I've created. And mm -hmm. so to pass that on, I would have to train somebody to do exactly what I do, yeah. um, or at least to help me put everything together. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, that's something I'm also thinking about is, you know, how do I find someone who um, is not only interested in jewelry, but wants to learn how to assemble jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's a very niche type of, yeah. you know, position. It's not your typical, exactly. you know, thing exactly. post on Craigslist or whatever. Right, so, right. Yeah, yeah, because attention to detail and the left has mm -hmm. to match the right. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And I'm very particular, oh, very, very particular. Well, that's great. Yeah. So, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That's going on. <laughs> the fans want her. Yes. <laughs> Buzzing. Apologies for the buzzes over here. <laughs> well, this has been a delight oh, and just yeah. so, so neat. I mean, yes. I love your Texas ones. Those oh, are so yeah. adorable. Yeah. These have done well at shows. Like whenever mm -hmm. I do a local event, if it's a farmer's market, if it's inside mm -hmm. a business. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Um, you know, if, if you work in an office setting, 
and you want to have a show or an event in the lobby, mm -hmm. that's a really good opportunity to have something fun for the employees there. Like on their lunch. Or, exactly. You know. And then I can come in and just be there around like lunchtime and kind of set yeah. up. Um, so that's another area I've been kind of expanding into mm -hmm. is doing office building oh, events. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. Now that people are able to get out and see each other and see our whole faces, yeah. that's a great thing. And it's more likely you're going to wear jewelry now because before when you're wearing a mask all the time or during COVID, it always it's hooked hard. on. <laughs> Yeah, it would be so, like, I'd be pulling it up. Yeah, you're like taking the earring off with a mask, and now it's like a lot easier to wear mm -hmm. a dangly type earring mm -hmm. and not have to worry about it getting caught in your yeah, mask. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, wonderful. Yes. Well, we've got all your tags and everything linked Excellent. to this video. <laughs> and certainly, um, if you, I mean, if you want some really cool jewelry, I mean, this is just so neat looking. <laughs> and to think about the molds versus the ones that are already made and you just pour it in. Yeah. It's just beautiful stuff. I know you can't appreciate it. Looking <laughs> at, but certainly look up Ashley and we would love for you to contact her. And, yeah. you know, take a look at her Etsy store, take a look at her inventory and see what you like and hopefully yep. support her business. And so, if I don't have it, it's very possible that I can't make it. So okay, I, people come to me with ideas that I love that as well. So. Okay, mm -hmm. so she's open to yes. challenges, <laughs> as we all are. Yes. So definitely. <laughs> well, good. Well, Ashley, thank you so thank much. You. So I'm yes. Chris Wise with Wise About Flower Mound. This is Ashley Guthrie with. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Daily glam. Daily glam. And I was going to say something else. <laughs> so, Daily glam. Yes. And definitely check her out. So, that's just really cute. I just love this Texas thing. I might have to just get you that. Just get a pair. I think I should just, just get, get that. Yeah. I think you might yeah. see me with She's a little Texas. A yeah. Do you make it in other colors? I'm making it all. Okay. Color. I think, whatever color you I want. I think there's a red or a black Texas coming yep. in to. Yep. Uh, Yep. my jewelry box very very soon so yep. once again thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you next time <laughs>